Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. So I want to talk about one of my favorite applications, Windows Movie Maker. Do you remember that? So that was an application that would let you edit videos for free on your PC. The reason I like that application is not because it was the best out there, but because it was free. And it was built by Microsoft, so I felt like that would be a good application to use on my Microsoft PC. Too bad that application is dead and gone now. Or is it? Well, I got some good news. That application does have a successor, but that successor is hidden in Windows 10. And I'll show you how to get to it. So, click on the search box at the bottom left hand corner. And then type in Photos. Open up the Photos app. And then at the top right hand corner, click on New Video. And then, click on New Video Project. It's going to ask you to name your video project. And me being the creative person I am, I named it my video. And voila, it looks just like Windows Movie Maker from back in the day. Just like Windows Movie Maker though, you have to add photos or videos to your project library in order to start. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by clicking on the add button at the top left. And then I'm going to click on from this PC. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to click on each photo that I want to have added in there. And I'm going to click open. It adds all the photos to my project library, but I have to get those photos into my storyboard if I want to start being able to edit and manipulate my project. Uh, as you notice, all the projects that I've or all the photos that I added to my project library have a check mark beside them. So that means they're all highlighted. And because of that, I can just click on one of them, drag it, and then they all drag to my storyboard. So as you notice, at the bottom left hand corner, each picture has a, has a number at the bottom left hand corner. And what that number specifies is the duration that the photo will stay on the screen before it transitions to the next photo. And you can change that duration by clicking on your photo and then clicking on duration. And then you can erase whatever's there and then manually type in the time that you want that uh, picture to stay on the screen before it transitions to the next one. Mind you, these are all in seconds. So if you want one minute, you got to type in 60. And I want to add a title screen here. So I'm going to click on add title card. And I'm going to click on add text. And I'm going to just type in some text here. And I want to jazz this up a little bit. So I'm going to choose a, a theme that I think will be good. Let's choose the pixel theme. And there you have it. And it does animate your text. It doesn't only change the font, but it gives it a nice little animation. So if I go over here and I just move it, the slider over, you can see the animation that it gives you. And I'm going to hit done because I'm satisfied with that. And I also want to add some background music. So I can do that by at the top right hand corner, click on background music. And uh, let's see, I'm going to choose this one right here, the one that's highlighted blue. And if I click on this option, sync your video to the music beat, what it does is every time there's a downbeat, it changes the photos. And I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to hit done. And as you notice, the times, the durations all change. And that's because they have to sync up to the beat now. And I'm not a picky guy. I'm not too fancy. I'm happy with that video right there. I know it's not a lot, but I'm cool with it. So I'm going to hit finish video. And I'm okay with it being 1080p. So I'm going to click on export. And I'm just going to leave the default location and I'll save that. 
And there you have it. That is Windows Movie Maker for Windows 10. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. And were you guys big fans of Windows Movie Maker back in the day? Let me know in the comments. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.